For Johnny Depp, there has always been art. Before music, even before acting, art has always been an important outlet for his creativity. After the huge success of his last piece, The Self-Portrait 5, and his sellout Friends in Hero series, Johnny Depp brings a new collection of intimate, limited edition pieces to Castle Fine Art. And it means a lot to me. Just the history of, of the Bunny Man and how it was conceived and all. The Bunny Man Genesis Collection where he continues to delve deeper into the self and his own subconscious via the depiction of his powerful guardian, the Bunny Man, who exists in four striking dreamscapes. With a sketchbook permanently in hand, there is rarely a time when Johnny isn't sketching or visually conceptualising the world around him. By challenging the ordinary, he gives rise to his own multi-layered expressionistic style that we see now more than ever in the Bunny Man series. Whereas his earlier portraiture brilliantly exhibits stylistic references to art world giants such as Andy Warhol and Ralph Steadman, rooted in childhood memories and infused with celestial undertones, this body of work really does show his expressive creativity. Until now, the Bunny Man has only existed to Johnny and his son, Jack, connecting the pair by a shared nighttime vision of the benevolent figure. My boy, my, my son Jack, when he was about, he must have been about five, he always looked like me, exactly like me as a child. He was drawing constantly. It was all these beautiful scribbles into that shape. Um, the Bunny Man reminded me that image reminded me of a, 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 a kind of a recurring dream that I had as a child. The drawing reminded Johnny that he'd also experienced recurring dreams that featured a very similar character only decades before. But that dream kept coming to me, you know, and I had it a lot, and uh, that's sort of what the Bunny Man became. To the viewer, the Bunny Man is a powerful representation of Johnny himself and an icon of his imagination. But to Johnny, it is an inseparable friend, guardian and symbol of strength, who he always carries with him as a pendant around his neck as a means of protection. The Bunny Man can be seen standing powerfully with a sword of truth, guarding the heart and delivering through all adversity. It stands at the doorway between reality and imagination, acting as a gold leaf portal to Depp's four conjured dreamscapes. There are four mixed media silt screens in the Bunny Man collection, entitled Origins, Cosmic, Flowers, and Multiverse, each piece depicting a different atmospheric world featuring its own defining qualities. Origins is the foundational artwork in the Bunny Man Genesis, depicting the first portrayal of the character created by Depp. It has strong symbolic colors, especially the red that reflects Bunny Man as a bold and powerful character with layers of courage, protection, and luck. Cosmic sees the bunny man standing amongst the galaxies, encouraging the viewer to embrace the spirit of adventure and solidifying his role as a universal guardian. Flowers features the bunny man within an abstract field of poppies, a flower that is often associated with sleep and the nighttime, connecting the bunny man back to the dream world where it was originally created. Multiverse features gorgeous electric pink accents and a tapestry-esque nature to the piece that sees the bunny man shifting between layers of the multiverse, weaving between the reality and the imagined. The original works were created using lots of textures, contrasting blocks of colour infused with a mixture of both spontaneous and controlled mark making. Whilst one painting might be intrinsically built up of many paint layers, presenting itself in an impasto style, intriguingly, Depp creates another by employing the use of Rizzler papers, collaging them onto the canvas, almost creating an imaginary barrier between the artist and the subject, again with this idea of protection. The limited editions are created via a complex and highly skilled method of reproduction known as silt screening. This process is an art form in itself with each ink colour being separately hand-pulled through pre-prepared screens to create a layered final artwork. The added special touch to the Bunny Man graphic is the mixed media aspect, 
the hand-applied gold leaf on the Bunny Man. Last year, we premiered the Bunny Man Genesis collection alongside a series of Depp's original artworks at Art Miami. Art Miami is not only the first, but the longest running contemporary art fair in Miami. It's also the second most attended art fair in the entire world. Held annually on Miami Beach since its inception in 2002, the fair is consistently recognized as the front runner for the acquisition of the most important works from the contemporary, modern, classical modern, post-war and pop art eras that are showcased at the fair in collaboration with the world's most respected art galleries, advisors and curators. The Bunny Man Genesis is viewed by us as his most important work to date because it is the most personal, intimate and authentic. It's the world's first look at a more established and personal artistic style from Depp. If you were to ever get to know who the real Johnny Depp is, look no further than the Bunny Man. It's just like Andy Warhol famously said, if you want to know about Andy Warhol, just look at my paintings and films and me and there I am. <laughs>